Hi everyone and welcome to One Day at a Tidy. On this channel we do decluttering, leaning, tidying, bolding and general motivation. Without further ado, let's get going. I think one of the most important things to remember in a big project like this, it wasn't, it's not really a big project, it's a lot of laundry, but any big cleaning project, any big decluttering project, any big organisational kind of project you take on, the important thing to remember is, and to try not to be scared of or to be worried about is, it's probably going to get worse before it gets better. Like, that's just a fact. And if you can accept that fact, that's half the battle won. Uh, I know myself from doing decluttering organisational uh, projects. Like, if you, especially if you are somebody who follows the KonMari method um, by Marie Kondo, when you put everything out, it looks insane. And even though you might have your, ni your nice little neat pods as you start sorting, it becomes chaotic very quickly and I know a lot of people can get really overwhelmed by that um, and that's one of the goals of this channel is to make this easier make this more straightforward but also to show people show you guys the reality of doing projects like this that they are you know they are those goals to get the place decluttered organized sorted that goal is obtainable um, it is work, I'm not going to lie and say it's, it's easy, but if you continue to do it, it does become easier. Um, and you become quicker at it and more efficient at it and you'll start to identify like patterns and things to look out for that you do or don't do that will affect the system. But um, aside from that, one I think important thing to start with with something like this is you need, we need a space to work with. So that's where I'm going to start is working on clearing space to work with so I can fold and sort, etc. Okay, so I don't know how much you guys can see, but I've created about a third of the table here to work with. Um, does that make the mound and the pile look much bigger? Yes, it does, but with a space to work with, at least I have somewhere to move stuff to. See here, what I'm doing is, so I'm categorizing as I go. So I've tops here, pajama bottoms. I'll probably have pajama tops, like jumpers and jeans. So I kind of do it that way as I go, because that's helping me to also divide that when I go upstairs with a pile, I can go straight to this drawer, straight to that press, rather than a random pile of, you know, everything. And then I spend another 15 minutes upstairs trying to, like, oh, that top goes there, that jumper goes there. So I kind of categorise as I go. And I'm also checking the clothing um, as I go. And yes, yeah, stuff is going to fall on the ground. There's no getting around that. There's a lot. Wings and 
you fly, yeah, high, high, high. Open up to spread your wings and jump to rise now for you. Flying higher, you jump to fly, yeah, high, 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 high. Standing on the edge while you're looking down, flying down on the ground just to find out. You fly so fly, don't you? Keep riding skies, won't you? Standing on the edge while you're looking down, flying down on the ground just to find out. You fly so fly, don't you? Keep riding skies to yourself. Show someone you care It might not be intentional But you seem scared Just try to open up and let it lead somewhere Breathe in some love Let yourself unfold Breathe in some love Let yourself unfold yourself on full breathe in some love okay so I'm just gonna do sorting these last few bits of clues it's many socks I think I really socks at the end um the thing as well is I have quite, um, I like really bright socks, like yellows and so, which kind of in a lot of ways, it makes it easier to pair them. But then I have some like that are, you know, white and black and stuff, which can be a bit more challenging. Um, the Conmary method folds the socks like this. Now, what I would usually do with socks is I will do this, like to keep them together. So it's essentially just get your socks, fold in half and just, I'm not short of socks. So I also have more socks in the laundry bath currently. I have socks in a box upstairs. It's quite a big, like, size box. There's got a few left in that, then behind it there's an, another tub of socks, which would be my winter socks, like, you know, outdoor ones, hiking, um, skiing, stuff I used to use for work, because um, I worked outdoors a lot. Um, but, which I like to kind of keep separate because they're, like, they're huge. Um, they're very thick, they take up a lot of space, but um, I've done this now. Socks, to be honest, thought they'd take longer than it actually did. I need to go upstairs, I have a laundry bag, or I'll have a laundry bag or laundry basket and transfer these all upstairs. And I'll show you guys me putting them away in the drawers, because the drawers at the moment are essentially empty. And I already have all the organisers in there, in them. They are Scoob, I think they're called, Scoob, Scoob. Um, they're from Ikea, Ikea if you prefer. Um, I'm probably pronouncing that completely incorrectly. If you are Swedish watching this, let me know how to pronounce it, because I don't know. Uh, I will leave a link for them in the description box. socks they're in um, this box here you can see that there um, oh crud these usually don't go in here these are enormous um, I'm gonna pop these here for the moment because these need to go into the box of um, big socks I was telling you about but anyway this is super simple so you just unwrap And then, in. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll leave this box here. You can better see what I'm doing. Now, again, you could just pop these in like this, um, if you prefer. And I just find this. Do 
Okay, so remember I said about having a declutter box in your wardrobe, closet, walk-in, whatever. Um, this is an ideal down of the colour. That's wrong, I'll have to relabel that, but this is just what I mean. I'm just going to leave it here for the moment so I can find a more suitable box if I can do that. Otherwise, I'll leave this one here. I'll use this for the moment. I'd rather use this rather than throw it away and buy something else. So I'm going to use this one for the moment. So this is our finished um, clothing. N uh, normal tops going out, tops that need to go into the chest of drawers, which I'm going to do now. Um, find a place for them, and then underneath is like sentimental stuff. So they're currently in a box. All the future and what's been. Guess it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it It's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it
I hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope you cleaned along with me or folded along with me or hoovered along with me, made your bed along with me. I don't mind, tidied along with me. Um, I hope this video was super motivating. I hope it gave you some ideas for, you know, little things, new things you could try in your own house. Um, and hopefully maybe organizational tips that could make things easier for you. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. It means a lot to me. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Um, subscribe, hit the red button down below, ring the bell, set to all, make sure you receive all future notifications of when I post a video and you don't miss out on anything. Um, and if you'd like to share or you think you know someone who would enjoy the video, please share it with them. I appreciate your time so much. I appreciate you guys so much. And I will see you for a new video next week. Okay, love y'all. Bye.